I've been talking a lot about accountability and responsibility and claiming your actions lately. And here's what I guess. Sometimes we go through situations we can't control. Death, divorce, cheating, you know, being robbed, whatever. But it's on you how you bounce back from it. I did not bounce back well from Melissa's death. I lost my job at the lodge for engaging in rumors. You know, I lost my license. I was put on probation. I lost some friends. I took to Facebook, made stupid videos, you know, to prove myself to the world that I am the best on this video at speaking my fucking mind. And where did it get me? I don't see anybody call me to explore my talents, you know. All I need was a chance, but I did not go out and take that chance. I sat back waiting for it, you know. And it's fucked up because I wasted three years of my life, man. I did. And the majority of the three years, I didn't do anything drastically stupid, and I can't be too hard on myself because I learned a huge lesson in 2016, thinking about everything. I went out, I chased women, man. Women who didn't mean a fraction of what Alyssa to me just because I wanted what I had with Alyssa. But that took me 23 years of my life to find. 23, right? Like, shit, man. I'm sorry, the females before Alyssa, y'all didn't mean a tenth to me what she did. So obviously that is going to take time. Anything after her was a fucking mistake. I will say that and I don't feel bad about it because I got with some dumb women. Just because I wanted to love and I wanted to feel loved. And yes, I want somebody that's going to accept me for me and vice versa. Somebody that I can grow with. Fuck like a porn star, you know. The whole nine yards, have fun with it. We know what I want in a relationship. But I'm not going to chase that anymore because I need to go out there and get some responsibility and get my head out of my ass and realize life's not all about drinking and smoking weed. I don't drink much anymore. I don't smoke much weed. That's what's making me realize this shit. Like, my eyes are open. Like, when I focus, I am a talented dude. I can do things. I'm capable of being a responsible, mature, professional man. But at the same time, I still have my sarcasm. I still bust out a joke like nobody other. Like I can make, I can entertain like no other. But that's for real life. Like I've been applying what I say on Facebook to real life the past few weeks. And you know, I got some of the realest conversations and connections in my life in these past three weeks. And anybody who's a part of my life in 2016 and has been here before, I love y'all. I love you to death. I don't give you enough credit. Thank you for helping Eddie be Eddie, for helping this lovable lunatic embrace that lovable side. But sometimes I can be too lovable. And I've given people chance after chance. And it's time to stop. Uh, people done burn me, done rip me off, fucking took money from me borrowed money from me with no intentions of ever paying me back. Like, and do I sit here bitch about it? No, but the fact is, I'm losing money for people who don't give a fuck enough about themselves to care about me. Like, I want to stop people from making fucking stupid decisions. And where that money went, I don't know. Probably went to drugs. Pfft, fuck if I know. I don't really care. The fact of the matter is, I'm a good dude. And you take advantage like people of me. That's what's wrong with the world. What's wrong with the world is people like me. We put so much time and effort trying to improve everybody else when we should be improving our fucking selves, the man or woman in the fucking mirror. Especially if you got kids, man. So here's what you need to do. Let the relationship thing, the woman or man, let that come to you. Work on yourself. Improve yourself. Love yourself enough to want better, to crave better. You know? This is not for just me. This is for my pops. This is for Alyssa. This is for that woman downstairs who puts up with me despite the fucking fool I, I put her through. And I'm sorry if I'm getting emotional here because I know I can be a fuck up. And anything I can destroy, I do. But I am a good dude and I could go somewhere in this world if I just get out of my own fucking way and think about what I'm doing before I'm doing it, man. 
this is the realest shit I'll ever say on a video, because I'm a mini and I fucked up, and I did, and it's hard for me to do that, but I'm finally realizing what it takes, you know, and anybody who wants my advice, I'm still willing to help you, but I'm not going to give money, I'm not going to help somebody who wants pity, I'm not going to you know, drag myself down to improve somebody else so I can stoop to their level because they ain't never going to get nowhere in life. No. No. If, unless you want to improve your own life and are going to, by association, help me improve mine, I ain't got no room for you. No time for you. No effort for you. The only thing I got for you is sympathy and prayer. And y'all motherfuckers need Jesus. Like, with my religious thing, you know, I want to be spiritual, but at the same time, I don't know if there's a God or a heaven or hell for that matter. And fuck all that. You know, sorry, little, it's not about God. It's not about the devil. It's not about the churches. It's about you, your life, your actions. You're responsible for them. You choose them. That's your legacy. What you leave behind at the end of the day is everything you do. And it leaves a trickle butterfly effect. Good leads to good, bad leads to bad, stupid leads to stupider, that's not even a word, but I just said it. Life, will it take you under? I don't know, will it? That's up to you. You need to improve your own self. Don't be worrying about people who don't give a fuck about you. You need to improve your own life. And I encourage all my friends to watch this video. Anybody I've taken the chance on, it's been real. But if you love me, you would get like me and want to improve your life. I need to take it better. Now we're going to see who really wants to be in my life. Because it's time to take some steps. You know, I still got ways to go with my license being on probation. I can't leave here until I'm off. I can't get my license back until September. But you know what? I can save up. And prepare myself for better. And I'm saying this right now. If the Hershey Lodge will take me back, I'm going back there. I love y'all, Funks. I do. That's not where I want to be, man. That place ain't going to help me grow. You guys have taught me valuable lessons. And as a whole, it will help me grow. But professionally, will it? I don't know. I ain't never going to be a manager at Funks. Like, I'll never have me as a manager. Why? Maybe that's my own fault because they see me on these videos and they're like, oh, he's such a loose cannon. And I'm really not. I say I'm a lunatic, but am I really? If you actually have a conversation with me and listen to me, even through all the shit I've been through, when I sit there and tell, pour out my tears to you and tell you all the things I've been through and how I can relate to you when you talk to me about your problems so that way we can click, I'm one of the more stable individuals you find like yeah maybe I got some screws loose but I can hold a functional conversation and I can improve people if I was mentally unstable I wouldn't be able to do that I am a lunatic we'll say that but I got my marbles they're still there the lights are on I just need to